This morning, 26-year-old Kevin Frutas' decomposing body was found buried in this shallow grave several yards off the George Price Boulevard in Belmopan. His family is trying to understand what happened. They suspect that he may have been robbed and then killed. We as a family has come to speculate that it's robbery because we come to understand that on that day, it was the Friday, he had just gotten paid and he had just cashed his check. So that is our only motive as a family that we have come up with so far. Do you know if he was found with his personal belongings, his phone, anything on him? No. As far as we know, his phone was stolen and his belongings was not found, found with him, on him. So he had no wallet, no money? No, nothing, nothing. Just Kevin, you know. No documents, nothing to identify him. The family was called to go on the scene to identify his body. Frutas went missing about five days ago. He was last seen alive at the bus terminal in Belmopan on Friday night. He was last seen 9.30, drop, being dropped off at the Belmopan terminal. And from there, we haven't had any record of him being seen or heard from from then. When we, when we tried, the family tried to call his phone, he went straight to voicemail. And from then, we've been searching for him. Monday was the um, time we officially made a report to the police, stating that he was missing. And Frutas' his family has been searching for him ever since he disappeared. That search brought them back to Belmopan this morning, where they found out about the gruesome discovery. The family has been searching, you know, endlessly for him. Kevin, we've been searching the whole of Cayo. His family, his brothers, has been searching Bullet Tree. We have been given several tips to know, with no avail. And then today, we decided to come to Belmopan to search. And based on our tips, we were, we were um, informed that Kevin was found know who found him, how they came across his body? Um, it was supposedly an anonymous tip that was given to the police and they were the ones that discovered Kevin's body. The family says that when they didn't find him, they suspected that something tragic might have happened. But despite their grief, today the family said they got some closure. They said um, after a number of days, you guys figured that something was wrong when you didn't find him. Exactly, right. We figured that, but they told us he was in San Ignacio somewhere along the riverside. So we searched, we searched, and we couldn't find him. We wanted to find him because we don't want it to leave him out there, you know, abandoned. And so we found him, and I think that's very good for us. And we feel better now than if we had him out there, you know. Kevin Frutas was a student at the University of Belize where he was pursuing a bachelor's degree. He was also finishing up an internship. His family describes him as an easygoing guy. He was both working and doing, pursuing his bachelor's degree. Kevin is a person who goes to school and goes directly straight to home. So to have this happen to him is very devastating to the family and friends that know Kevin. Everybody would say that the family would take up for whoever is you know, missing and been, has been found there. But Kevin was really a really genuine, humble man. Everybody that knows Kevin, especially from the Cairo area, knows that Kevin is very sweet, very humble young man he doesn't interfere with anybody all i want is justice for him right. you know because i don't think he deserves this reporting for news 5 i'm andrea polanco